dreamed about my wedding day and prayed for my groom as long as I can remember. I prayed God would bring us together in his perfect timing, and that until then, God would mold me into the woman worthy of his love. I have waited my entire life to meet the man who had asked me to be his wife, who would rupture with happiness when he laid eyes on me on our wedding day, and who my children would call daddy, and whose wrinkled hand I will hold in my last days. It is my honor and greatest life joy to finally know you. I still remember the moment you first told me you loved me. I feel the deepest parts of my being with joy. It sent peace through my soul, it sent bliss through my mind. I had spent years running from pain. You came and showed me that even in the worst of times, good can come out of it. I've been through hell in the past few years, but it was that broken road that made it possible for me to meet you. All the pain that I went through led me straight to you. You're worth every brain surgery, spinal tap, and MRI it took me to get here. So today, as my childhood dreams unfold in front of me, I'm in awe of God. I'm in awe of the man who created specifically for me. I'm in awe of the way you are so strong and so bold that you treat me with the gentlest touch. I've got to love you unconditionally, to find joy in you, to be patient with you, to be kind with you, to be good to you, because you deserve to be treated like the perfect God-fearing woman that you are. I vow to stand by you and never leave you for all of my life. It's my life. It's greatest joy to be yours, and I love you so much. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister, I pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride.